to Paradise TV. I'm Carly Wegner. And I'm Stephanie Summers. We are here where Paradise plays at the Seminole Casino in Mockalee. This is the ultimate entertainment experience in Southwest Florida with more than 1,200 of the newest slots, 34 live table games, and a world-class poker room. The action never stops and the fun never ends. There's live entertainment every night. There's no last call at the Zigzag Lounge, and guests have four dining options sure to tempt every appetite. We, of course, will be jumping into some of the high stakes fun here soon. That's right, but for right now, let's go ahead and get things started. In tonight's show, we're exploring the extreme side of paradise, battling bikes on the BMX track, riding a mean green coaster, rocking with monster trucks, and rolling on an orange Jeep adventure. With all the action going on at the Seminole Casino Mockley, this is the perfect location to tell you about all things extreme happening here in Paradise. Like monster trucks smashing and crashing, it really doesn't get much more intense than that. Well, at least until I got behind the wheel. Check out my monster truck test drive. Monster noise. Monster tire. Monster mud. Welcome to Monster Trucks. Monster trucks are tough. They're built to crash and roll over. Roll over. Jump over. Pretty much anything they want to do to get over. A five point harness system and a complete roll cage, and it has all the safety equipment of a NASCAR driver. This is NASCAR on steroids. Black Knight, Bounty Hunter, Monster Macho Muscle, Put Ice Cream Man. That sounds like kid stuff now. Actually, it is kid stuff. When I was one, I started out on power wheels. I went to go-karts, four-wheelers, dirt bikes, then I finally built up to a monster truck. At just 10 years old, Florida's own Kid KJ has his foot on the gas in every way possible. It's too much fun to stop. What does his mom think? They're just amazing drivers. They have such talent because they have the feel and they, they really know how to maneuver these vehicles. Well, if this little 10-year-old can do this, is this something I could do? You? I could train you. Of course <laughs> I could. Yes, you can. Have you ever played on a four-wheeler or a dirt bike? Got four-wheeler. Maybe even a mild-mannered TV host can go monster. We have to give it just the right amount of gas, not too much, not too little, because, you know, you could either go overboard or backwards, you know, completely backwards. Maybe it's best to just leave the real dirty work to the professionals. Stephanie, pretty impressive. <laughs> was it as hard as it looked? The hardest part, I have to say, was getting in and out of the trucks. They ah. are absolutely huge. <laughs> For more on this monstrous event or anything you see on Paradise TV, log on to our website, fox4now.com slash paradise. So they removed all the dirt from the Germain Arena, uh -huh. turned down that AC, you know what that time of year means. Oh yeah, it's time to bring in the ice because the Everblade season has begun. The 2012 Kelly Cup champions are back on the ice and ready for action. Since 1998, the Everblades have entertained more than 3 million fans with their hockey skills. Green and blue covered blades fans flock to Germain Arena to cheer on their home team along with Swampy and the Everblades. It's fast paced action. I, I love the blades here. They're doing great. Um, you know, nothing better than a hockey game. There really is nothing like going to a hockey game here in Florida. You can spend a great sunny day at the beach and then go inside and watch the boys on the ice. And speaking of, let's warm up a little bit with tonight's Beach of the Week. Fort Myers Beach is known for its sprawling stretches of sugary white sand that just invite relaxation. But many people also come for the water sports. Skimboarding, parasailing, jet skiing, and charter fishing are just a few that are available. 
Fun seekers come year-round to play in the waters of Fort Myers Beach. Whatever it is that you like to do, whatever that may be, uh, water sports such as wave runners, boating, fishing, um, I can't even think of everything. Tubing, wakeboarding, there's all sorts of fun activities that you can do. And the beauty of it down here is you can do it all year round. That is an exciting beach. I'm a little tired now. I need a beach chair just to sit back and relax to watch all those water sports. Well, and keeping with the theme, here's some extreme sports trivia. Tonight's question is, what was the first extreme sport to be added to the Olympics? Think about it, and we will reveal the answer a little later in the show. There is so much to do here in Southwest Florida. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> well, then stick with us because we have many more adventures for you to choose from coming up later on Paradise TV. We're busting some big air with BMX riders. And up next, we're gambling on good times where paradise plays. But first, tonight's Pictures in Paradise, brought to you by the Seminole Casino Immokalee. 